Hello my darlings and welcome. Let's make a spell candle themed to the zodiac sign of Aquarius. Ruled by Uranus, Aquarians are known for their intellectual curiosity and independent thinking. Aquarius is the sign of innovators and visionaries. Let's do some magical crafting. This video is part of a series where I create 12 different zodiac sign candles and talk about the magical properties of the ingredients in each one. Candles are used in all kinds of magic and ritual, witchcraft, conjure, ceremonial magic, root work and folk practices. Craft your candles to align with your magical goals by adding oils, herbs, gemstones, colors or symbols. Most importantly, as you create your candle, infuse it with your intention. If your traditions call for it, you may wish to bless your candle, chant or speak words while creating it, invoke a deity, or pray over it. I begin by weighing out my soy wax flakes and melting them over a very low heat. I've created a book of shadows page for this spell candle recipe. It explains the magical correspondences of the color, the herbs, and the crystals in this candle. If you'd like to download a PDF of this grimoire page, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, book of shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs. Melt your wax slowly over a low heat and do not boil or burn your wax. If you see any smoke, your wax is burning. Turn the heat down. As the wax begins to melt, this is the perfect time to add your energy and intention as you stir the liquid. When making your candle, incorporate the ingredients you have on hand. You do not have to include all of the ingredients I show in this video. As always, my tutorials should only be a starting point for you to develop your own craft. Once the wax is completely melted, it's time to add the ingredients into the liquid. Make sure to turn the heat off before adding anything into the wax. I'll be adding three herbs into my wax. I chose these ingredients because they magically correspond to the zodiac sign of Aquarius. The first ingredient is fennel. This plant is used in spells to promote courage, to make you more confident and eloquent when speaking. It's also used for protection and for warding your home, and some use it in spells and magical workings for weight loss. The second ingredient is comfrey. Comfrey leaves are believed to have the power to bring good luck and fortune in financial matters. Comfrey is also used in protective magic to ensure safe journeys for travelers. Use comfrey in a bath after ritual to relax and purify. The third ingredient is rosemary. Rosemary is an all-purpose herb for witchcraft because it's useful for so many purposes. It's used to cleanse and purify a space, in dream magic, and in spells to increase knowledge and promote learning and memory. Rosemary can be used in spells for fidelity and remembrance as well as to dispel jealousy. Some other options for herbs that correspond to Aquarius are patchouli, sage, frankincense, myrrh, henbane, foxglove, anise, and sandalwood. Once you've included the ingredients you want inside the candle, it's time to add a color. I'm using a color that corresponds to the sign. For Aquarius, I'm adding Arctic Blue and Purple. Colors that correspond to Aquarius are Blue, Green, Indigo, and Violet. In color magic, the color blue symbolizes patience, fidelity, health, wisdom, justice, and tranquility. Violet corresponds to wisdom, psychic ability, power, wealth, and royalty. Make sure to add enough dye to the wax to make the liquid appear darker than the final color you want. The wax will lighten as it cools, which will lighten the colorant you have added. 
You may wish to add an essential oil or a perfume oil to scent your candle. This is optional. You may wish to leave your candles unscented for many reasons, including potential allergies. I'm using lavender essential oil. This will bring the magical qualities of lavender into the candle and my home. A mainstay in aromatherapy, lavender scent is calming, reduces anxiety, and helps to bring on sleep. In magic, it's used to bring joy and happiness, promote restful sleep, and increase psychic abilities. Next, it's time to pour the wax into the container. Make sure that you use a fire safe container and never use plastic or anything flammable. I've chosen a jar that has a wide opening so that I can add glitter and gemstones to the top of the candle. It's easy to fill and not likely to tip over when lit for fire safety. I'm putting a small piece of double-sided tape on the bottom of my candle wick to stick it to the jar. Then slowly and carefully pour the wax in and scoop in any of the ingredients that have settled to the bottom. I'm using two chopsticks, one on each side of the wick, and a binder clip to ensure that the wick stays centered in the jar and create a straight up and down wick that will not droop. You can also tie the wick to a chopstick or skewer or use a clothespin to hold the wick, whatever you have at home that works with your container. Leave your candle to cool and for the wax to firm up. The wax in my five ounce candle becomes somewhat firm in about one hour. The amount of time will vary depending on the size of your candle. Once the wax has cooled, you can add ingredients to the top of the candle. I like to use a heat tool to melt a little bit of the surface wax to adhere glitter and gemstones to the top. I love to add glitter to all of my crafts. I decided to use both blue and purple glitter on the top of this candle. I'm also adding garnet gemstones. Garnet has a variety of magical properties, including protection, healing, and emotional balance. It brings emotional balance and calm during times of stress and is thought to strengthen survival instincts in traumatic situations, bringing courage and hope and keeping depression at bay. I'm adding some frankincense resin to the top of the candle as well. Frankincense is most often used for spiritual purification, protection, and healing, and burned as a smoke offering or to cleanse a space for ritual or magical work. Frankincense promotes spiritual growth and awareness and brings mental clarity, emotional balance, and stress relief. Generally, I would caution you to place any flammable material around the edges of the container, away from the flame, so that it's less likely to catch on fire. However, with this frankincense resin, I will be happy for it to release its wonderful aroma in the candle flame. A candle created magically in your sacred space and with great intention can bring extra power and purpose to your magic. There are many ways to use your spell candle. Specifically, I will use mine in a new moon ritual on the new moon in Aquarius. If your sun sign is Aquarius, burn this candle to invoke the natural gifts you possess. Light this candle on your birthday to amplify the best qualities of your sun sign. This candle can be used by anyone to amplify all magical working done during Aquarius season or to embrace the traits of the Aquarian. In particular, it would be useful in magical workings relating to connectedness and friendship, community, humanitarian endeavors, and dreams for the future. 
Fire is a tool of transformation and candles are a great way to harness that element into your intentional work. Use this candle in moments of reflection or journaling. Focus energy towards visualizing your goal happening as you light your candle and as it burns. When the candle has completely burned through, you may wish to remove the gemstones, which are now supercharged with the energy of your intention. Keep them and use them in further magical workings or give them back to the earth. <laughs> 